Okay, so you know, I know I've actually gone around this house right now and I've seen it for myself. But basically, you just tell us what's going on here. What kind of house? What kind of? Um, what's the end result that we're actually expecting by the time you're done with this property? Okay, thank you. Um, first of all, this uh, this is a plot of land. Okay. Uh, somewhere in Nigeria, east part of Nigeria. Okay. So we are, like I said, it's a plot of land, and then in this in the plot of land, we are trying to put up um, a two-story building okay. that consists of that will consist of six flats, okay. six flats, six bedroom flat okay. of two two bedroom flat each, six flat of two two bedroom flat each. That is the ground floor. We have the two flats, which is for, uh, that two two bedroom. Mm. The first floor we have two flat or two two bedroom. That is four. Okay. And then the last floor, which is the, se the second floor, mm. we have two two bedroom flat, that's making it six. Actually, where we are standing here mm. is where the car park going is going to be. And we are going to also have our uh, safety tank here, okay. where reinforced, okay. like the ones we've been doing before, and then car will park on top. So that's where it is. Okay, so basically, um, a project like this, how much are you, are we expecting to how much have you spent so far in putting this structure to where it is now? We are still at the first floor right now. We have not gotten to the first floor. We are still at ground floor. Okay, sorry, at the ground floor. We are here to do the decking for the first floor. Okay. And we are ground floor. So, so far with this, uh, is this a swampy area? No, this is not swampy area. But I see that you guys actually uh, raised the deck up. Yeah, I, I, we, ra we raised the... Uh, not deck, uh, uh, jam, uh, DPC. Okay. It's called German floor. Okay. The essence is because this road is not yet constructed. Okay. They've not done the road yet. So eventually, once the road will be done, we don't want to suffer uh, rain, poor, and all that okay. erosion thing. So uh, flood. What so we, entering the house. Uh, what entering the compound, not even the house, entering the compound. So first of all, we have to raise our DPC as high as you can see. We are going to introduce steps okay. into the house okay. at the finishing stage of the house. Okay. Then after which, we will fill the compound mm. and then take slope it outside. So therefore means, at the level we have raised the house, at the DPC level, we have so advantage such that no matter how the road will be higher, we have, we have taken our level from the coordinate from the main road, main the express and bring it here. Mm -hmm. So being that as it is, there is no how the road will be higher and it's going to have water will enter into the compound. Okay. Not, not to talk of entering into the house. That's what it is. Okay. So. To, in order to put up a structure like this, mm. what do you normally like? Um, what is the procedure? Can you just give us a brief procedure on how you go ahead putting on a structure like this? From when you do the design to when you actually, you know, just assume that I don't know anything about it, okay. which of course I don't know. Yeah, it's so true. It's true. I want you to put me through all that. Okay, like you like rightly said, first of all, you get the land. Okay. When you've gotten the land and then you do your survey, when you get the land of the size you want, you do your survey and then you proceed for design. Okay. So you design according to the space of land you have. Okay, who does the design for you? you an, have an architect? We, 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 are, we do our all embodiments. We design. Okay, you design. We design like we did this and okay. all that. So we did the design and then after design, or if you also have an architect, mm. if you feel that you are comfortable with, mm. there's no kind of design that we don't interpret. Okay. So, so long as it's what in the framework, what we do. Okay. Mechanical, engineering, electrical, okay. we do all that, building and all that. So get the design, after design, that will be in accordance with the survey plan and the, you know, and all that. So after design, then we start up. Then after design, we're not going to billing. Okay. You send your design to us, you, we do a bill, yeah, it's called bill of quantity, BOQ. Bill, bill we do the bill, and then from the bill, bill that bill now we entails the market price. Okay. What cement is sold in the market. First of all, we, we do bill calculation. Mm. How many rods we will need for the building mm. to the stage we want? Mm. How many cement? How many blocks? How many sand? Everything okay. based on what you want. Okay. Either the carcass or to the finishing stage. Mm. We do all that. So we will go into billing. And then we, the billing entails that we check what the market says, okay. how much the salesman, based on what we have. Mm. Uh, oh, the, the building will take 500 bags of cement. How much is it in the market okay. at every stage? And the building also has stages. Mm. It has a, a foundation stage to DPC. It has a DPC to the decking, the decking to the first floor there about, and then roofing and, and, all, of that. and all of that. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Exactly. All right, all right. 
So, um, the next thing I want to ask you is now, what of I see that you guys are. I when I while we were checking out the place, I saw that you guys had um blocks here. And Some other. blocks were molded. Are you do you guys mold your own blocks for a property like this? Yes, we do. We do both of them, mm. but we have a specification okay. because we can't afford to do anything less from what is expected. Okay. Uh -huh. So, because quality is our core, mm. we have to do something that is quality and all that. Yeah. So, we can give, we have a company that more, we can give them a specification, but like this one, we produce it by ourselves. Okay. We do the produ production by ourselves. Okay. Yeah, so it, it works both, way, both ways. Okay. We can buy, but before we buy, we check the integrity and the quality of the blocks. The blocks. Yes. Before you... Yeah, yes, yes. So now, how much will it cost if I if I wanted to build this kind of house, right? How much do you think of? Okay, let me not ask you. That. I'll come back to that question later. Okay. So far, at the level that you are in now, how much have you guys spent? Okay, fine. So it's just a rough breakdown. A rough, you know that it, yes. There is no specific amount here. Yes, yes, but yes. So far, you're right. You're right. So far, we are at the stage yet to do the first floor decking. Okay. Therefore, we have run through the foundation and we have done the, we have raised the block to linter level okay. and the next stage we are going to do uh, the decking that's the, the first decking mm. the first decking like i said it's two story building that's first and second so now so far the the dpc materials and everything cost us about uh, six point something about six point two six million and there about yes. six point six point something million and then so far this stage we are now has cost us like uh, two point something million okay. outside the blocks we are molding okay. uh, but in, in the rundown the dpc cost us about six point about six point five million okay. and then taking it to this level we have spent about two point something million including the materials labels uh, the rot and everything but the block molding we in, we tend to you know share that because blocks we have to mold it and let it get set and you know before you can use it so in the intervals of blocks we are molded mm. we have molded i think the total cost we are putting into block molding is about uh, two million naira and that block now is going to lead us through the whole the entire project okay. and we are still building and still molding okay. and it's still ongoing okay. yes so this this two million naira for the blocks mm. does it include the labor that's the labor and then but uh, that, that includes the labor, but you know that things varies. Yes. Uh -huh. So because of market price and sometimes things changes, you can go to the market. Like today, we just got delivery of cement. Cement is four thousand five. There was a time we buy for four six and not about. So sometimes different ch changes occur. Yes. Like the last set of block we molded, we spent one million um, one hundred and forty so, uh, for something thousand. Mm. Uh -huh. So this one is one million seventy thousand. That you know differs. Uh, those kind of differences happen at every given time. Sometimes you might go to buy sign again and you might have like 5,000 different per tipper. Okay. And this tipper we buy into 10, 15. Cement too, we buy into 100 and thereabouts. So sometimes you may have difference of so, but they are, the range is at least 1 million, 1 million, 100,000 and thereabouts. Okay. Um, what about, before I go ahead asking you the costing of other things, now what about things like the rods? How much have you spent so far? In the like, like I said, that the, the, the stage after after we did the foundation, yes. we have spent about two million, two point something million naira, about two million ninety thousand or thereabout to this stage. That comprises of the rod, the, the, the labor, the labor, the rod, the labor, the the plumbing pipes, okay. the carpentry work, and everything to this stage, except the block, okay. because the block we mold it and ahead of time mm. we just produce the block we keep producing them right. and so that once the time comes we use them exactly but other things you can just go to the markets and have them but for the block we produce them and keep like this one you're seeing mm. this one you're seeing around is for the for the future like the next stage okay. exactly okay, quick question that I, that only professionals will, will be able to answer okay how many blocks will enter this building okay fine the blocks that will enter this building is been estimated. Okay. Okay. Now, so now the the block we are going to the block is is, is been estimated. Like I said before, that when you have your drawing, is we check okay. the the BOQ meanings. We check the detail, the quantity, quantity and everything. The the rod, the blocks, the cement is all been calculated. Okay. So I can tell you for free, the blocks we have used from this foundation to this stage. It's about 4,500 blocks. Okay. 
Now, this stage, we have used about 3,400 blocks. Okay. The next stage will take us another 3,600 blocks because we have expansion. Okay. Then the other stage will take us 3,600 blocks. So if you add 3,600 plus 36 plus 3, 4, and 4, 5, mm. you'll be able to have the number. The total number. The total number. Because they are, they are in the drawing. It's being calculated. Literally. Even the rods have been calculated. The plumbing pipe, the electrical pipe, everything has been calculated. Exactly. Okay. That is why we are molding the blocks ahead of time because we know what we will use. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Now, um, apart from the the block, okay, let me just ask you this one first of all. For a site like this, in building, generally. Generally, okay. What's the most expensive thing? Or one of the, what's the most expensive material? What's the most expensive uh, piece of uh, hardware that you people okay. need? Or, okay, you know? fine. Building varies. If you are building a bungalow, what you time to be the most expensive may not be the same as building a story, a story building or a duplex. Okay. Because so let's start by bungalow. Then bungalow, what we tend to be the most the, um, in, in, in bungalow, what we tend to be the most expensive is uh, rather the roof. Okay. Rather the roof okay. tend to be the most expensive. Okay. Why? The roof. Because the roof is expensive. Now the roof is when in bungalow. Once you have raised the building, okay. block is sand, cement, okay. and a, 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 a bag of cement can give you about thirty blocks okay. for good quality. Okay. Not like the block industry. Okay. We don't do that. We use uh, we get good production. So so a, a bag of cement can give you about thirty blocks. That comprises of sand, cement, and then so is is in judgment is fair. Now. Uh, and that block is what it is. So the most expensive thing in the building, when it comes to carcass, mm. is the roofing because the skeleton wood, depending on the size of the building, I need to take you more than half a million. Mm -hmm. And then the roofing itself will be depending on the type of, the material, type of material because these are imported materials. Yeah, exactly. Right. Then when it comes to... So, uh, sorry, then, uh, are there no locally made materials? They are locally made boards. Quality the quality, yes, the quality may not be as good as important, and okay. it is good when it comes to building. It is good to do it once and for all, so that when you do it, you know you've done it. Okay. Yes. So then, uh, the next stage of it is finishing. Finishing that is the plastering, you know. But I'm not really talking about finishing on this building because we are not yet not at that stage. Okay. So we cannot quantify it finishing okay. yet, except we have a drawing and someone said, okay, give us a build in finishing. We will now optimize it one after the other and then make it very clear. And well, the expansion so that one know. But for now, on Kaka, so I just mentioned about the bungalow. Then for for story building, the rod is the most expensive. Okay. The rod is the most expensive okay, because for the decking, for the decking the stages. Place. Because for now, for example, like what you see now, you can see the rods traveling everywhere. Yeah. You can see the pillars in this building now. We have about forty-four pillars. Thank you. That they know now. We have a particular size of rod that we are using for the pillars because we're going to carry the decking. Outside that, the decking rods. Is very expensive. Okay, so if, um, sorry. Yeah. From a layman's um, perspective. Question. Yeah. So are you are you saying that the rods that you use for the pillars is yeah. different from the, the like they are different from the rods you use for the decking? They are different. They, they, they have they have different roles and different places okay. they play. Okay. For example, one will not ha carry a Corolla tire and put in a tip in a, a tipper. Yeah, of course. Tipper has his own tire. Corolla has his own tire. Now, when you get to the decking, the beams, mm. the beams around the house is the same rod 16 mm but on the mats we use 12 mm rod yes so they have their role and their places okay, okay, okay. and the specification okay. according to the the the, 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 the drawing okay. that is the nice. structural drawing okay. because it is a, there's a drawing that covers only the structural work yes so, quick, um, quick question. I think I don't want us to. We'll still be coming to check this yes, the progress as of we this progress. work as it goes on. Exactly. To see what it will turn out. Exactly. Now, the uh, quick question is this: If I wanted, I'm, we're, we're actually looking at the 3D drawing of this building right now. Yeah. You know. So now, for a building like this, how much do you think you're going to spend to to, to put this uh, whole structure? So what we have on the 3D? Yes. From the 3D um, image mm -hmm. where, mm -hmm. or 3D 3D rendition we are looking at right yes. now, how much do you think it's going to cost to bring all of this to life? With the current uh, market price, I think we are going to spend about 80 million naira. It. 80 million. 80 million. Yes. Okay. That comprises of the finishing. 
everything to make it when, look when like... You, when you say finishing, is, are there, that, is it, there anything inside that no, apart the, from... The, the, that 3D you saw, okay. before you have that, that is painting. Okay, painting. Decoration, okay. the painting, the sanitaries, the electrical, the roofing, everything. At the current price of uh, things, Think. I think yeah, at least 80 million naira. 80 million Should naira. be able to take care of it. That's around $100,000. Including, including the compound... Flooring, flooring septic tank, the septic tank, and everything. And everything. So let's just say, uh, in dollars, uh, let's just say that's around a hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars. Yes. To put up something like this. Yes. Does yes. so that include? What you say? They include the doors too. The doors. Yes. Everything. Okay, we are going to talk yeah. about the doors. Maybe when we yeah. get to that stage and oh, the yeah. windows. All right. All of that. All right, engineer. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. We'll be coming more here to be checking on this project. Please, please, while we'll as it progresses. Okay. Because the aim here is basically to give. I know we have a lot. Of, I told you we have a lot of people that watch from the diaspora, okay. and most of them are looking for trustworthy people and professionals that will be able to handle projects for them. Okay. So, we want to uh, the aim here is just to basically uh, number one show them that people like you exist that can handle projects like this, and then number two for those of us people like me that are still uh, dreaming like you said, who have a fair idea of what it will cost us to have something like this. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. So we are going to go and... Okay, sorry. Talk, to... Talking about diaspora, like this building currently, Yes. the ownership of this building uh. are not in this country. Oh, but the, the owners we, don't live in Nigeria? They don't live. So we don't have to give details for that. Of because course, of, uh, uh, we understand. For, uh, uh, but they are not. They haven't seen this building before. The only thing they do is picture. Like today, you helped me to do some video yes, yes. on the cement we bought, okay. the blocks we molded. You just helped me to do that. So yes. I'm going to send it to them. Uh, so what we do is we send pictures on everything we do. Okay, update the clients. Update, on the... update the client on every stages. Okay. And funny enough, the owner of this building is also an engineer okay. practicing in um, Western War. Mm. A qualified engineer who knows everything about building. Okay. But he thrust this into our hand. At least this is about the second thing we are doing for, for him. For him. Okay. And so he hasn't seen it before, but all he did was locate the land, start this is what we want to do, and then we are we are, we are on it. it exactly. He has not even been he has not been here for a very long time. So but we are we are good together. Oh, sorry. Because we keep updates like when we buy cement, we send, we go yes, we mode blocks, we update, we buy anything, we update, we do borehole, everything we do, we update the clients. Okay. Steady updates. We have a platform where we just drop our information. Then you go there and see it. Then okay. you give us a platform that platform that is limited to the, the client, his wife, and myself, who, and whoever who, yeah, to whom he may consign. The, to whoever the client wants to be there. Okay. Myself, the client, his wife, and whoever he wants to be there. To be there okay. uh -huh. And the client also sends his relatives who are in this part of the country to come check us unannounced okay. and they'll come in and then we'll just call them out. we'll see this we just see that and all that so that's how it is it's all good so from uh, here now we are going to another yes site. yes we'll go and check out that one yes yes all right thank you so much sir thank you uh, well, let's go over to the next it's one. a pleasure sir <laughs> thank you <laughs>